Hello everyone and a very warm welcome to another lesson. In this lesson we are going to learn about ILET speaking test parts 2 and 3. The topic of our cue card is describe anything that you recycled recently. Describe anything that you recycled recently. In this lesson we are going to look at some part 2 and part 3 questions. We are also going to look at some rounding of questions at the end of part 2. Before we begin our lesson, please remember to subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up if you find it useful. Now, let us begin our lesson with part 2 questions. The question is, describe anything that you recycled recently. You should say what it is when you recycled it, how you recycled it, and explain how you felt about recycling it. Question 1. What it is? The key word here is what. So in this question, the examiner simply wants you to identify what you recycled. Now you can answer this question by saying, Five days ago, I bought a pint of milk in a plastic container that I later recycled from my local grocery store at the corner of our street. Five days ago, I bought a pint of milk in a plastic container that I later recycled from my local grocery store at the corner of our street. Five days ago, I bought a pint of milk in a plastic container which I later recycled from my local grocery store at the corner of our street. In that answer, I have identified what I recycled and that is a plastic container. But I also provided some extra details around that question. I pointed out that five days ago, I bought a pint of milk in a plastic container which I later recycled from my local grocery store at the corner of our street. Let's move on to question two. When you recycled it? In that question, the examiner wants you to tell him or her when you recycled whatever it is that you recycled when now you can answer that question by saying yesterday morning the milk was finished so I decided to recycle the empty plastic container yesterday morning the milk was finished so I decided to recycle the empty plastic container yesterday morning the milk was finished so I decided to recycle the empty plastic container. So in that question, I have identified when I recycled it and that was yesterday morning. Yesterday morning, the milk was finished. So I decided to recycle the empty plastic container. Let's move on to question three, how you recycled it. In this question, the examiner wants you to explain how you recycled it. Now you can answer that question by saying, I recycled the plastic container by throwing it in a big garbage container that has been put on our street by the local council for recycling plastic. The garbage was collected this morning to be recycled in a nearby recycling plant where they use the old containers to make new ones. I recycled the plastic container by throwing it in a big garbage container that has been put on our street by the local council for recycling plastic. The garbage was collected this morning to be recycled in a nearby recycling plant where they use the old containers to make new ones. 
I recycled the plastic container by throwing it in a big garbage container that has been put on our street by the local council for recycling plastic. The garbage was collected this morning to be recycled in a nearby recycling plant where they use the old containers to make new ones. So in that question, I have explained how I recycled the plastic container and I said that I recycled the plastic container by throwing it in a big garbage container that has been put on our street by the local council for recycling plastic. And then the garbage was collected this morning to be recycled in a nearby recycling plant where they use the old containers to make new ones. Let's move on to question four. Explain how you felt about recycling it. In this question, the examiner wants you to describe your feelings. How did you feel after you recycled it? Now you can answer this question by saying, after throwing the empty plastic container in the garbage container for recycling, I felt really proud of myself because I felt I had done something productive. I was quite happy too for showing an eco-friendly behavior to our planet. It gave me a feeling of satisfaction and contentment because I was pleased with myself for doing the right thing. After throwing the empty plastic container in the garbage container for recycling, I felt really proud of myself because I felt that I had done something productive. I was quite happy too for showing an eco-friendly behavior to our planet. It gave me a feeling of satisfaction and contentment because I was pleased with myself for doing the right thing. After throwing the empty plastic container in the garbage container for recycling, I felt really proud of myself because I felt I had done something productive. I was quite happy too for showing an eco-friendly behavior to our planet. It gave me a feeling of satisfaction and contentment because I was pleased with myself for doing the right thing. So in that answer, I have described my feelings. I have explained how I felt after recycling. I said that um, after throwing the empty plastic container in the garbage container for recycling, I felt really proud of myself. I felt I had done something productive. I was quite happy too because I felt uh, that I had shown an eco-friendly behavior to our planet. And I also pointed out that it gave me a feeling of satisfaction and contentment. So the words that I've used in that answer to describe my feelings are proud, happy, satisfaction, and contentment. Now, let's move on to the rounding of questions. So once you have given your answers for part two, the examiner is going to ask you some rounding of questions before you move on to part three. Let's look at question one. What sort of things do you recycle? In this question, the examiner wants you to identify the sort of things that you recycle. Now you can answer this question by saying, I recycle all sorts of things such as plastic, bottles, and even kitchen waste, which they used to make manure. I do also recycle clothes by selling them as second-hand clothes or donating them to some charities. I recycle all sorts of things such as plastic, bottles and even kitchen waste which they use to make manure. I do also recycle clothes by selling them as second-hand clothes or donating them to some charities. I recycle all sorts of things such as plastic, 
bottles and even kitchen waste which they use to make manure. I do also recycle clothes by selling them as second-hand clothes or donating them to the poor in some charities. I recycle all sorts of things such as plastic, bottles and even kitchen waste which they use to make manure. I do also recycle clothes by selling them as second-hand clothes or donating them to charities. So in that answer, I have identified the sort of things that I recycle. I said I recycle plastic, bottles, kitchen waste, but I also recycle clothes by selling them as secondhand clothes or donating them to the poor. Now let's move on to question two. How often do you recycle? How often do you recycle? In that question, the examiner wants you to know, uh, the examiner wants you to explain how many times do you recycle? Now you can answer that question by saying, I recycle daily before I throw garbage from the kitchen, which I have to separate and throw in the correct bin designated for plastic, bottles, or kitchen waste, respectively. I recycle daily before I throw garbage from the kitchen, which I have to separate and throw in the correct bin designated for plastic, bottles or kitchen waste, respectively. I recycle daily before I throw garbage from the kitchen, which I have to separate and throw in the correct bin designated for plastic, bottles or kitchen waste respectively. So in that answer, I have explained that I recycle every single day and I do that every single time before I throw garbage from the kitchen because I have to separate and throw it in the correct bin that is designated or allocated for plastic or bottles or kitchen waste. Now, let's move on to the part three questions. Question one, how do you feel when you see garbage on the streets? In that question, the examiner wants you to describe your feelings. Every single time when you see garbage on the streets, how do you feel? Now you can answer that question by saying, quite frankly, whenever I see garbage thrown all over the street, I feel quite sad and ashamed of the human race. I find it hard to comprehend such careless senseless and irresponsible behavior. I don't understand why anyone would want to live in an area littered with garbage. Quite frankly, whenever I see garbage thrown all over the streets, I feel quite sad and ashamed of the human race. I find it hard to comprehend such careless, senseless and irresponsible behavior. I don't understand why anyone would want to live in an area littered with garbage. Quite frankly, whenever I see garbage thrown all over the street, I feel quite sad and ashamed of the human race. I find it hard to comprehend such careless and senseless irresponsible behavior. I don't understand why anyone would want to live in an area littered with garbage. So in that question, I have described my feelings, how I feel whenever I see garbage on the street. I pointed out that I feel quite sad. I feel ashamed of the human race. I find it hard to comprehend such careless, senseless and irresponsible behavior. I pointed out that I don't understand why anyone would want to live in an area littered with garbage. To comprehend means to understand. Remember, this is a band nine answer. Now let's move on to question two. Why do you think people throw garbage in public places? Why do you think people throw garbage in public places? Now, in that question, the examiner wants you to explain why you think people throw garbage in public places. Now you can answer that question by saying, in my opinion, people throw garbage in public places because they are dirty, careless, and perhaps 
there are no bins where they could throw the garbage. Or it could be that they were not taught the importance of keeping the environment clean in school or at home when they were young. Others do it because they copy what others do. And finally, we have those who do it because they think it's not their responsibility to keep the streets clean. In my opinion, people throw garbage in public places because they are dirty, careless, and maybe there are no bins where they could throw the garbage. Perhaps they also do it because they were not taught the importance of, of keeping the environment clean in, in schools or at home when they were young. Others do it because they copy what others do. And finally, we have those who do it because they think it's not their responsibility to keep the streets clean. In my opinion, people throw garbage in public places because they are dirty, careless, and maybe because there are no bins where they could throw the garbage. But it could be because they were not taught the importance of keeping the environment clean in schools or at home when they were young. Others do it because they copy what others do and finally we have those who do it because they think it's not their responsibility to keep the streets clean. So in that answer I have given a number of reasons as to why I think people throw garbage in public places. One, I think it's because they're dirty, careless, and also, number two, it could be because there are no bins where they could throw the garbage. Number three, it could be because they were not taught the importance of keep, keeping the environment clean in schools or at home when they were young. Four, it could be because they copy what others do. And finally, some people do it because they think it's not their responsibility to keep the streets clean. Now let's move on to question three. Why is it important to recycle? Why is it important to recycle? In that question, the examiner wants you to explain the benefits of recycling, why it is good to recycle. Now you can answer that question by saying, it is important to recycle because it helps our climate with our climate problems and global warming. Moreover, it does reduce water pollution, create jobs, save energy and money. Failing to recycle can have a huge impact on the natural environment because a lot of waste could end up on land fields. It is also important to conserve natural resources such as wood. It is important to recycle because it helps it helps our climate problems and global warming. Moreover, it does reduce water pollution, create jobs, save energy and money. Failure to recycle can have a huge impact on the natural environment because a lot of waste would end up on landfills. It is also important to conserve natural resources such as timber. Now, Let's move on to question four. In question three, I have identified a number of benefits for recycling. Okay, uh, It helps um, with climate problems and global warming. It helps to reduce water pollution. It creates jobs. It saves energy and money. Okay, And if we don't recycle, it can have a huge impact on the natural environment because the waste would end up being dumped all over. And it is also important to conserve natural resources such as timber. Question four, do people in your country recycle? In that question, the examiner wants you to explain whether people in your country recycle. You can answer that question by saying, yes, um, in my country, uh, everyone is forced to recycle because the local council provides every home with three garbage bins, one for plastic, the second one for bottles, and the third for biogradable waste such as leftover food. Failure to separate your garbage into these bins is punishable by law and you could get a very high fine. 
For that reason, everyone ensures that they recycle accordingly on a daily basis. Yes, in my country, everyone is forced to recycle because the local council provides every home with three garbage bins, one for plastic, the second for bottles, and the third for biogradable waste such as leftover food. Failure to separate your garbage into these bins is punishable by law and you could get a very high fine. For that reason, everyone ensures that they recycle accordingly on a daily basis. Yes, in my country, everyone is forced to recycle because the local council provides every home with three garbage bins, one for plastic, the second one for bottles, and the third for biogradable waste such as leftover food. Furthermore, to separate your garbage into these bins, failure to separate your garbage into these bins is punishable by law and you could get a very high fine. For that reason, everyone ensures that they recycle accordingly on a daily basis. So in that answer, I have explained uh, that uh, people in my country uh, recycle uh, they are forced to do that by the local council um, and that happens because every home is provided with three garbage bins, one for plastic, another one for bottles and the third for biogradable waste such as leftover food. And if you don't do that, failure to separate your garbage um, into these bins is punishable by law and you could get a very high fine. Now let's move on to question 5. Is it important for children to learn how to recycle? In this question, the examiner just wants you to explain whether you think it's important for children to learn how to recycle. Now you can answer this question by saying, yes, I believe that children should learn how to recycle because it is a good way of teaching them to become responsible adults with a better chance of having a decent planet to live on in the future. It is important to understand the importance of looking after the environment as the key to a sustainable future. Yes, I believe that children should learn how to recycle because it is a good way of teaching them to become responsible adults with a better chance of having a decent planet to live on in the future. Furthermore, it is important to understand the importance of looking after the environment as the key to a sustainable future future. Yes, I believe that children should learn how to recycle because it is a good way of teaching them to become responsible adults with a better chance of having a decent planet to live on in the future. Furthermore, it is important to understand the importance of looking after the environment as the key to a sustainable future. So in that answer, I have confirmed to the examiner that I think, yes, it is very important for children to learn how to recycle. And I have given some reasons why. Now, if you found this lesson helpful, please do not forget to subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, and share this video on all your social media platforms. Thank you very much for watching and see you in our next lesson. Bye-bye.